This video is brought to you by Altium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Placing the transistors. First, select View and then locate Fit Document from the main menus, or you can use the shortcut V and D to ensure your schematic sheet takes up the full editing window. Second, open the Components panel. If not already, click the Panels button at the bottom right of the application window and select the components from the menu. Third, click the three slash button at the top of the Components panel and select Refresh from the menu to update the panel's context with the components acquired from the manufacturer part search. Fourth, use Panel Search field to Search for transistors DC547. Then display the components pane of the panel using the information or I button or using the up button at the bottom of the panel when the panel is in its compact mode so that you can explore the properties and models of the selected components. Six, click to select the required transistors in the results grid in the panel, then click. Place button as shown in this image. The cursor will change to a crosshair and you will have a symbol of the transistors floating on your cursor. Now, you are now in part of placement mode. If you move the cursor around, the transistors will move with it. Do not place the transistors yet. Before placing the part on the schematic, you can edit its properties, which can be done for any object floating on the cursor. While the transistors is still floating, on the cursor, press the tab key to open the properties panel. The default behavior is to automatically highlight the most used field in the panel. Ready for editing, in this case, it will be the designator. Note that each section of the panel can be individually expanded or collapsed, which means your panel might, be, might look different. Number 8, in the properties section of the panel, type in the designator 01. 9. Confirm that the visibility control for the comment field is set to visible. You can see an eye icon there. 10. Leave all other fields at their default values, then click the pause button again to return to part placement. The next, move the cursor with the transistor symbol attached to position the transistors a little to the left of the middle of the sheet. Now note that the Current snap grid, which is displayed on the left of the status bar at the bottom of the application window, it is 100 mil. You can press the G shortcut to cycle through the available grid settings during object's placement. It is strongly advised to keep the snap grid at 100 mil or 50 mil to keep the circuit neat and make it easy to attach wires to pins. For a simple design such as this, 100 mil is a good choice. Then, next step, once you are happy with the transistor's location, click the left mouse button or press enter on the keyboard to place the transistors onto the schematic. The location can be changed later if required. Then move the cursor and you will find a copy of the transistors have been placed on the schematic sheet. And you're still in part placement mode with transistor symbol floating on the cursor. Now these features allow you to place multiple parts of the same type. Now, on the next step, you're ready to place the second transistor. This transistor is the same as the previous one, so there is no need to edit its attributes before you place it. The software will automatically increment the component designator when you place multiple instances of the same part. And in this case, the next transistors will automatically be designated to Q2. Now, if you refer to the schematic diagram that is shown in this image, you will notice that Q2 is drawn as a mirror of Q1 to horizontally flip the orientation of the transistors floating on the cursor, press the X key on the keyboard. Now this flips the component on along the X axis. 16. Move the cursor to position the part to the right of Q1. To position the component more accurately, Press the page up key twice to zoom up in two steps. 
you should now be able to see the grid lines. Then, once you have positioned the part, click the click the left mouse button or press enter to place Q2. Once again, a copy of the transistors you are holding will be placed on the schematic and the next transistor will be floating in the cursor ready to be placed. Then lastly, since the both transistors have been placed, exit part placement mode by clicking right mouse button or the escape key on your keyboard, the cursor will revert back to a standard arrow.